Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's officially April, not April, August 2nd, so it's the first of, second of the new month, and we're getting on to another review this week, and we got Transformers 2007 Michael Bay brawl and he is the tank decepticon he has always been a tank even in his g1 continuity not a bad looking brawl if i do say so myself these missile pods are really well molded treads are really well molded got some wheels going visible leg and torso syndrome well this is a 2007 toy this moves because of the barrel moves the double barrels. Other than that, a good looking toy. And now we're gonna get down to some comparisons. Um, we got Michael Bay 2017. Michael Bay 2007 Megatron, if I can get him to stand, his feet are not wanting to stay stand in for some reason. But here we got Megatron with Brawl, Tank Megatron with Brawl in Vehicle Mode, and Revenge of the Fallen, Soundwave, and Barricade. I don't have a bigger Barricade figure. That's all I have for comparisons this week. And now we're going to get down to transforming our Michael Bay 2007, a.k. 2017, Movie Brawl. Pull this out. Fold these out. Go into, fold out the arms, like so. First, just like the first. Flip out the arms and around. There, we got the arm process. Ready to go, almost. Now we start with the torso, pull these panels down, form the legs, flip out the feet pieces. There we got the legs all done. Flip up the torso, flip up these treads, and there we got the lower body all done. Turn this panel around. And now we're going to tab these panels into those little pegs right there. And lock Brawl's cannon arm into place. Second verse, just like the first. And be careful not to flip in the head. It's very easy on this copy to do that. I'm going to tab it into the panel right there. Like so, turn the arm around, out the blade, making sure everything just tabs in there nicely. And there we got our brawl, ready to do battle with the Autobots. Close-up shot on this figure. This is a really well-sculpted and painted figure from 2017. Got bend at the knee for a 2017 to 2007 figure. Love the bends at the knee, so you get some posability out of it. Arms can move this far due to the joints. Just not a lot of movement in the arm area. Not bad for an old toy. But yeah, head is on a ball joint. So you get some wiggle and wobbly movement out of that head, which is good looking by my standards. And now we're going to get down to some comparisons before we end this video. I can get them to work. Here we got Megatron. You always fall over. Well, I got to keep falling over, dude. Here we got Megatron next to Brawl. Satellite Soundwave, 
Why not? Got a sound wave, and I knocked over Megatron. She just doesn't want to stay up. Yeah. He doesn't want to stay up much. And this is my first Revenge of the Fallen Studio Series figure. I just didn't pick up the others because I wasn't interested in them indefinitely. Well, we got Legends, Bumblebee Movie Barricade. Close enough to the Michael Bay Barricade. Cybertronian Tank Megatron. And this is my entire, some of my best Decepticons in 2023 in my Transformers collection. Probably wondering, am I going to pick up any more of these? Yes, I will try to pick up more of these because these are awesome figures to pick up and review. I had no problem completing 2017 movie Brawl's arm. It only cost seven bucks to get the arm with the barrel. So roughly I paid 15 bucks to complete him and now review him. And I'm so glad I paid that much money for him. Is he worth adding to your collection? If you like the original Michael Bay Transformers movie from 2007, pick this guy up. He's worth at least 20 bucks. But I paid 15 for him, so I only paid like 19 bucks. You can find him complete for 20 bucks. Snag him. He's worth it. And he goes good with all the Michael Bay Decepticons I own. And yeah, they are my top favorites in my collection as of 2023. Am I going to pick up any more Michael Bay Decepticons if I were to find them? I want to pick up Starscream for sure. Com get a complete Bone Crusher. I don't know, may I pick up Swindle? And probably the other Michael Bay Decepticons from Revenge of the Fallen and so forth. But other than that, those are the figures I would love to own. But before we end this video, we're going to put all these figures back in the bin here to be put back on the shelf. And we're showing off what we're reviewing starting Friday. And this is going to be a real treat from Transformers Rescue Bots. You know I love doing Rescue Bots. And this is the Mega Rescue Bots Optimus Prime with Trailer. So that's what's going to be reviewed Friday. And starting Sunday and Tuesday, we'll be back on normal reviews before we head to Monroeville Still City Con. And we do got a bot in the trailer to be reviewed as well. It's Rescue Bots Chase. And that is the last review for this week until Sunday. When we get back to normal starting Sunday and next Tuesday. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.